Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And also if you're interested in getting an on the go tea bottle, we just got some restock. So definitely make sure you guys check those out as well. So thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so if you guys don't know, yesterday Tommy Lee was trending all over social media. My first thought is, did he die? You know what I'm saying? What the hell, why is he trending? What is this, 1990 damn five? Does he have another sex tape out? Cause the last Last time we seen Tommy Lee, he got knocked out by his son Brandon Lee. Yeah, I remember when I posted that on Instagram, Brandon and Tommy were beefing on Father's Day. It got really, really ugly, and that was the last time that we really heard anything from him. Well, Tommy Lee decided to get into his feelings yesterday after he saw Travis Scott's set, okay? So Travis Scott has this set where he's using a small roller coaster at his concert, and a lot of people have been saying that his Astro World Tour is one of the best. It's visually stunning. You know, he thinks outside the box. I've been hearing a lot of really good things about his concert. Concert. And so Tommy Lee is definitely not feeling this. He feels like Travis Scott stole his idea. He stole his whole roller coaster theme um, that he used to use when he used to travel with Motley Crue when they used to do their tours. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Tommy said. Go ahead and check this out. So Tommy reposts Travis Scott's um, post where he says, take me back. And Tommy says, just found out this fucking idiot, Travis Scott, or someone on his team, ripped off the 360 and the Cruelly Fry. What the fuck? Get an original idea, bro. Wipe to see who did this shit first. Be right back. There's more. I get copying as a form of flattery, but this is just straight up ripping off my shit. What do you guys think? Then he goes on to say, at Travis XX, lawyer up. So basically after he posted that, a lot of people were really torn on social media. A lot of folks understood where Tommy was coming from. Other folks were saying, you know what? You're old, you're washed up, shut up. It's a new generation, who cares? So it was a lot of back and forth on social media, a lot of back and forth on Twitter. And even the original designer, the roller coaster, they have since spoken out. And Tommy is still ranting and raving this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this update. Check this out. So Tommy says, and the plot thickens. After I and our production crew created the 360 and the Cruelify, we hired a company called SGPS in Las Vegas to create it. Well, guess who's doing Travis's set design? Fucking SGPS. So all you motherfuckers telling me I'm not right can fuck off. Then he goes on to say, to many people this probably isn't a big deal, but as an artist, I specifically created the 360 and the Cruelify for my shows. No one had put a roller coaster on stage before me. No one. When you put all that time and effort into something and someone just jacks it from you, it's not cool. Had he given me credit or paid homage, it would be a different story. Then he goes on to say, just like Kanye stole his set design from Lord's show, we are artists and we pride ourselves on what we create. And for someone to just come along and take it for their own isn't cool. Come up with your own shit. That's what an artist is supposed to do. Auto-tune voice. Honey. So now Travis Scott's lawyers are replying back to Tommy. And this is what Travis Scott's lawyers are saying. Check this out. So Travis attorney Lori L. Serino tells us, Tommy didn't invent the concept of a roller coaster on stage. There's no legal basis for his accusatory outburst. <laughs> There's no legal basis for his accusatory outburst. The actual creator and owner of the system has granted Travis all rights to use the equipment to complement his original stage design. All right, so you guys just saw what Travis's lawyers had to say, and even Kylie Jenner got a chance to jump up on the roller coaster ride as well.
So they're saying that Tommy didn't necessarily invent this. He wasn't the one out there, you know, building it and putting it together and welding it together. But it was, you know, his concept. And unless he patented or trademarked it, he really has no case. Nikki! <laughs> you know, I definitely understand where Tommy's coming from. You know, while I'm not the biggest Tommy fan, I feel like, you know, he has a lot of issues and things like that. I do understand where he's coming from in his second rant. You know, unfortunately, the industry that we have now, the industry of 2018, there's nothing about individuality anymore there's no originality it's like everything is copied plagiarized I mean you got folks stealing people's lyrics their beats their rhyme style you know people see somebody doing something they like it they take it they put their own stamp on it and they act they done reinvented the wheel so unfortunately we live in a day and age where you know what I'm saying people are just not original anymore I mean let's keep it real look who the hell Travis Scott is you know dating and, and who he's with he's with one of the main people whose entire family does nothing but take from other people people steal concepts Kylie Jenner just got sued not too long ago because she stole some woman's whole lip gloss concept you know what I mean and the woman's taking her to court so we live in a day and age where people just don't want to be original they rather just you know watch what somebody else did back in the day and then reinvent the wheel and it's really unfortunate so I understand where he's coming from as an artist and as somebody who's creative and as somebody who thought of something first but unfortunately in this day and age people just don't care if it looks good if they're paying their money to go see a show fans nowadays they just don't care as long as the show's off the hook they're getting their money's worth you know the visuals look good they do not care and you know I also find it funny that a lot of these artists you know they all want homage they want folks to pay homage to them but let's keep it real a lot of them were not paying homage to the rock and rollers who came before them to the rap artists who came before them it's like everyone wants to act like they're the first to do something when that's not always the case so this entire situation is a hot damn mess but honestly I don't think that Tommy has a case I understand his frustration I understand him for being mad I remember when Lord went off on Kanye but at the end of the day this is the world that we're living in people see shit and instead of being original they want to take from other people they want to take from this person and that person and take their originality and take their concept but again when your stuff is that dope real recognizes real and the fans and the people who really love and care about you and care about the work and care about what you put into it they will always pay the homage to you and they will always give you your props and that's what Tommy needs to focus on he needs to focus on the love from his fans and not so much worry about Travis Scott and his roller coaster set okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Tommy going off on Travis Scott about his roller coaster set do you feel like Travis Scott basically blatantly stole this from Tommy because this was Tommy's idea he did this back with Molly Crew or do you feel like Tommy's just an old man ranting and raving and he has no case to do anything and then do you agree with me when I say that originality is basically dead and this industry thrives on plagiarism they thrive on watching folks taking from them and then trying to act like it's their own he just needs to worry about his fans and just worry about you know making good music or you know going on tour or something because you're not gonna be able to control people plagiarizing your ideas so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.